so many people must be already having their own create react their own react application which are which is created by create react app and they want to apply the tailwind css on their application so i would like to demonstrate this entire process by using a simple example here i have already an application installed in my computer it is a very simple application there is nothing in it in fact uh, in the app.js i have simple edipoly react examples here is the application so now i want to apply the tailwind to this so for that you just need to go to the get started and uh, go to framework guides so here you have an option called create react app in this we have already done this process and now we have to first start with this npm install hyphen d it should create a directory and uh, it should install tailwind css copy this and install it so let me stop my current application and uh, paste it over here and start installing it so it may take little 20 30 seconds of time and once it is installed you can find out there is a folder which gets installed inside the <clears throat> node modules folder that is you can see here something called tailwind css so this is the folder which is already created but the configuration file is yet to be created you can't find out any configuration file so the second step will actually create the configuration file for you which is the most important so now npx tailwind it creates created config file tailwind.config.js here it is so here we you have the configuration so now the configuration can be given already given in the tailwind website you just copy that content and paste it over here so this basically add the path to template files that means so where you can find out the css that basically what tailwind does is what are the classes you are using only for that it will create the css build file so your application should know where is exactly this tailwind uh, tailwind located okay so these are the files where you should find out that uh, tailwind css uh, classes so only for those classes it will generate the uh, css file and it will forward to it that is what happens i ex have explained this video in the last class about this performance orientation in the last class please check out and uh, have your inputs on that so now once this is done you you are almost there the last step you had to find out is in the index.css you had to put all these directives copy these directives and put whatever if you have anything in your css on top of it put it over here so once you are done you are once this is done you can happily go to your application and uh, you can see okay because uh, i have not started let me go back to the terminal npm start so now you can see the text with the tailwind css right so this is the fundamental font of tailwind css and uh, i found a very interesting website called tailwind css cheat sheet where you can search for your uh, in need for example i want to apply some background color so background you just type it and you can find out this background color properties let me apply some uh, uh, some purpleless or some let's go to purpleless purple copy it and uh, go to your app.jsx apply class name is equal to paste purple so you can find out uh, the purple color is out there and here you can also apply the text size so basically you just type text we will find out the text related uh, font size so here you will find out the text 6xl 5xl kind of things apply class name is equal to text 6xl i don't know how much it will come uh, let us see this oh wow it's more than that okay so this is how you can apply the um, font size and you can change the font color as well you can go back to this place called uh, text 
and uh, here i don't know okay leave the font size mm. text color you can apply some text color some red color text red 100 or uh, some yellow color text yellow 300 so let me apply text yellow 300 css class where you can find out the so for more this kind of information and uh, some personal training or only for training you can contact me and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and continue supporting me so that i can send you more number of videos and be informative thank you see you in the next video